Dubai has just announced an initial order of 20 Martin jetpacks, plus simulators and even a training package. It's going to be delivered next year. A deal between Dubai Civil Defense Force and the New Zealand-based Martin Aircraft Company. It suggests that jetpack technology is about to move into the mainstream. I say finally, I think this is so cool. Um, but it's not going to be used, you know, for the millionaires, the oil tycoons of Dubai to show off and fly around on their cool jetpacks. Actually, what they're saying, it's going to be used to fight fires mm. and keep the safety going. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ali Hassan Al Mutawa, he's the director of the Dubai Civil Defense Operations. I have a quote from him. He says, We see them performing a first responder role. Sometimes we have challenges or difficulties to reach the top floors of those buildings. The aircraft can go into confined spaces to size up the situation. We're going to modify them with thermal imaging cameras. This is so awesome. I think it's just going to add to their already cool fleet of toys that they have for their fire departments and their police. I mean, we're talking about Lamborghinis, Corvettes that they use for their police cars. It's so cool. And, you know, Jose, as these cities become more dense in the future, uh, buildings get higher, I think we're actually going to have to use jetpacks for practical purposes totally. like this. And I think yeah. it's just awesome. And it's the beginning of seeing, like I said, jetpacks rolling in to the to the mainstream. I think that you, you, you are right. I think that especially in Dubai, where they are so obsessed with the, ta the tallest buildings in the world. Yeah. This actually makes sense. And Glenn Martin, the designer behind these jetpacks, he's been working on this technology for almost 30 years. And personal use hasn't been ruled out. It's not the right. specific, but it might happen that people can buy it. But right now, like you said, this is first responders. And they actually have a pretty cool application of these jetpacks where they do a mule train yeah. kind of array of many of these jetpacks where a single person can fly them up and go do a rescue mission in case they're trapped in a high... Uh, building, they will be able to get them and give them like a jet drone, packs. get like uh, get them on the jetpacks and they fly them down on remote control, which is crazy to think. It's it, it you know it's, it's the future is here, and it sounds kind of sci-fi, but at the same time it makes sense if you are in a you know in a building that has 80, 90 stories high. Oh, even these more makes than that. sense. Yeah, even more than that. We have a picture of the Burj Khalifa, yeah. highest building in the world. I mean, it, it's there's amazing. no ladder for that building. No, I don't think ladders would be a good idea to get somebody off a thing like that. So yeah, jetpacks are awesome. We have some specs here. Um, maximum weight that it can carry, 265 pounds. So um, you know, a skinny guy can go up there with a lot of equipment, medical stuff, for example. Um, it's made out of carbon fiber, 3D printed parts as well. It has a parachute. It can go max 45 miles per hour and get this um, altitude of 3,000 feet. Wow. Jesus, that is terrifying. Um, it even has an onboard computer stability system. Um, so if an operator lets go to the control, lets go of the controls if you fall asleep while you're texting or something, it goes into hover mode. And it just keeps you safe until you wake up or you regain consciousness. We're talking about, you know, firefighters or something. So, um, again, I think this is really awesome. Um, like Jose mentioned, though, uh, for now, it's only going to be put to use for fighting fires. Um, absolutely no, no personal use yet. I'm sure... Uh, uh, aviation authorities would have a lot to say about that and they definitely have to put some regulations before that could begin.